So in this problem, it's solving uh, an equation that has a radical in it. Whenever you do this, you always want to try to isolate the radical. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to get the square root by itself by subtracting x. So that will give me radical 5x minus 4 equals 14 minus x. Then I'm going to square both sides. And that's going to give me 5x minus 4 because, remember, this is the, the principle we're using here. The square root of something, uh, something squared just equals that something. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it is. So the square root of six, uh, 25, or no, that's going to do something easier. Square root of 28 squared equals 28. So the square root of 5x minus 4 squared equals 5x minus 4. And then this other side, you've got to square it. So you've got to do 14 minus x times 14 minus x. That's how you square it. So it's going to be 196 minus 28x plus x squared. If you're not sure how to do this, just take it to the side and actually do your FOIL for that. Now I've got a quadratic equation, so I need to bring these over here. So I need to subtract 5x and add 4. So I'm adding 4 and subtracting 5x at the same time. So that's going to give me 200 minus 33x plus x squared. If I rearrange that just so it looks a little nicer to me. It looks something like this. To me, this looks like it might be factorable just because 200 has a lot of nice factors. And I know, as I do this, as I'm looking at them, I know you've got 200 and, or 20 and 10, which gets me close to 33. And I, I assume 25 goes into that. And you could check it on your calculator, but 25 goes into 208 times. And 25 plus 8 is 33. So that gives me something nice. So 25 minus 8. And so that when you multiply that together, that does give you 200. 20, negative 25 minus 8 gives you a negative 33. So that's factored nicely. Then that means your answer are 25 and 8. However, whenever you do radicals, it's a good idea to check to make sure your answer is correct. So in this case, you're going to have, uh, if we do 25, it's going to be 25 plus the square root of, well, 5 times 25 is 125 minus 4 is 121 equals 14. Well, if you notice, 25 plus 11 does not equal 14. And so 25 did not work as an answer. We try 8, you're going to have 8 plus the square root of 40 minus 4, which is 36. Well, that does work as an answer. And so the only answer to this problem is 8. Always, always, always check your radical because when you square things, you often introduce what are called extraneous solutions.